Hello guys and welcome to a new episode of this is all from uh, my server cloud open source channel. Today I'm going to show you how I installed Florum. Um, this is an open source uh, forum that can run locally if you want. Uh, in this case we're going to install it on Docker. Again all the information in the description below. Um, Let's go with the Florum organization here, and this is the actual website. This is more or less what it looks like. And here you can find, again, all the information that you require, okay, to get started. I, to make it easy for you guys, I got, so let's have a look here, I just created with the, just copy and paste really on, um, you know, on your um, portainer stack all right so as you can see already uh let's have a look where are we florum if i go to editor this is what you get the information okay so if i go back to this one here we got it there you got the stack you just copy and paste i don't know if i got the right thing yeah no that's my right idb let's go on this one here come on let's copy that and you deploy the stack all right that's all you do now make sure you have a domain set up and make sure it's redirected to the right ip to your server if you do it locally i use nginx okay to do so um again change all this to your requirements and also don't forget to make sure that port is not used. If so, make sure you change the one on the left and not the one on the right. When you're ready, all you gotta do is deploy stack, okay? Um, logically, this has already been used because I already got it. So anyway, this is the way it works. Once it has been done, let's go to containers. Um, here, yeah. You click on 888 and it should take you there. As you can see, it also works with the domain, okay? Now, when you start, you will have an installation um, page. And all you got to do is, as I said, you got to add this information. So we'll ask for the host, and that's what you do it. The name, the username, and the password. Uh, I think it's MySQL password, so this is what you got to put. Again, you can put this one here, okay? That's all you need. And you need db host for the uh, i think db pref, pref you need the florum this one here i mean again even if the port is still working i think for the password admin and password again change yours and add this when you do it'll ask you for the name you know the the username and the user password for the forum okay that's nothing to do with the actual database but i'm still asking you on the installation page and that's it and as you can see, everything works and you're ready to go. And you got it. Anyway, guys, this is a very short video. And again, we are not going to make a lot of videos. We are still in the trans uh, transition to, you know, to, to change the, the channel, what it is, to what it's going to be. And it's going to be basically about hosting rather than anything else. All right. Thanks, guys. And I'll see you next time.